Ted, any pre-show thoughts? Pre-show thoughts. And I'll go up there, I have like the first two thoughts, and then I'll kind of go from there. I'll see what the crowd likes. If I gotta get into some crowd work, I'm happy to do that. But I think ultimately it just goes from life experiences, stories from growing up, some accents, some impressions, touching the wang of Justin. It's no problem, you know I like to touch pin. Oh, I can't say that. What's up ladies, are you coming to the show, 8 p.m.? See, a lot of that, a lot of that. But you just gotta keep moving, keep grooving, keep grinding. What's up? Mikey, Mikey Cannon, baby, best comic in the city. I was just listening. I listened to you do an ad on Chrissy Chaos. Oh, look at this from the shower to the street. I'm going to buy illegal edibles because they're the only ones that still have an impact on me. They're illegal still? Well, the ones that are over 100 milligrams. People are coming through, man. People are always coming to Margarita Monday. They want a little margarita. They want a treat, okay? Have the french fries. Santino behind the goddamn lens, making people feel comfortable. And, you know, not much more to say there, but we love having them. It's a little cloudy today, but that's not gonna deter my mood. Ted, how's it going in there? It's great. You know, sometimes, sometimes the crowd is a little bit quiet, but it's up to the comic environment. Find a way. Um, yes, I'm Ted Jones. I, I, I realize I look like a little ethnically ambiguous, right? Like, is he Spanish? Like, get down, what's up? Or is he like a white kid who used to yell at his mom when his friends were over during middle school sleepovers? I can be both. <laughs> but I was just in Miami. Pretty recently, do I look tan? Yeah. Okay, that, I wish I got a better reaction than that. Because it's insane how like us white people will go from the north to the south, and no matter what, we're freaking out about how the weather needs to be. I'll go down there for three days, I see cloudy, cloudy, cloudy. I'm like, do I need to reschedule my trip? What's the deal? It's wild. <laughs> like one of my friends, one of my buddies, Sergio, lives down there. He moved to Miami like like around like four weeks ago, and he still sounds like he's from Venezuela, but now he's in Miami. And I know it's like, it's 2024, so I shouldn't say that somebody sounds like they're <laughs> like fresh off the boat from Venezuela to Miami, but Sergio sounds like he's fresh off the plane, okay? Hasn't really got acclimated to Miami, but anytime he speaks, he just sounds super convincing. And I think that's part of his accent. And just a, a side note, it, when you hear people have accents, it's okay to mimic some certain type of people, right? Like a British person stops you on the street and they're like, Hey, which way is Rockefeller Center? You'd be like, hey, it's five blocks up that way. <laughs> and you can like mimic their teeth and they're fine with it. And they're like, oh, all right, they're just so pompous, they don't care that you're making fun of them. But if you start to make fun of people that maybe aren't as pompous, like you make fun of somebody who's like, Venezuelan or like Dominican or Spanish Mexican whatever it is they are usually not as happy So like maybe a Spanish type of person will come up to you and be like hey, you know what the deli is for Aki way? And you're like, oh, it's no problem. He's four blocks up. He's like You fun me homes and ten minutes later you're getting jumped. You're dead. You're dead man. But anyway, like Sergio is usually a good sport about it because I've known him for a very long time and he's cool, but like, like I said, it sounds like he's still in Venezuela. Just moved to Miami. So I called him after I saw that the weather was looking a little cloudy. So I'm on the phone, I'm like, dude, do I need to reschedule my trip? What's the deal? He's on the other end. He's like, they, the sun is coming through the clouds. You're going to get more tan than if there was no clouds. I was like, what are you talking about? I Googled this. Apparently this is true. Do you guys know this? Yeah. I'm saying everybody knows this except for me. Hooks on TikTok have just become so crazy because that's how you get people to watch. So like, I was watching the show, My Strange Addiction, on TikTok, and it just starts off with some lady from a country introducing another guy who's from the Deep South. I was like, why do they do this? It must be because of the hook on the algorithm. It just starts off as, Steve has been addicted to eating sofas for 10 years. Sofas? All right, I'm locked in. Just cuts the Steve. I've been having one sofa every three months for the past 10 years. The video, <laughs> this video ends. And then you guys know on TikTok, you scroll, you look for that part two, right? 
scroll and TikTok. Boom. See, there's a part two. I click on it. It's just a 10 minute video of Steve going to town and eating a sofa. He's like, <sighs> and you can just see the lint coming out of his face. It's disgusting. For like the first half of the video, I'm like, what is going on? But then I can't turn away. I'm intrigued. Ah. I'm like, is, is that sofa vegan? <laughs> He's looking at it. Looks like cow leather. And eventually, I'm like, you know what? I feel like Steve's got to put some ketchup on that sofa. Then it would be really delicious. You know what I mean? Another vegan topping. <laughs> Amazing, ma'am. But, um, you know, life is going solid, except, oh my god. <laughs> Two days ago, I saw a mouse in my apartment. It's still in my apartment. You guys see a mouse in your apartment pretty recently? No? I see you give me like a half. I was like, maybe, yes. If you're a true New Yorker, yes, you found a mouse in your apartment. Not recently? Well, God bless you for that. I remember the first time I was introduced to a mouse. I was like 15 years old. My mom, like, anytime I was in trouble growing up, like, what's your name, sir? Mark. Mark? So, like, anytime you were in trouble, Chances are your mom would be like in another room and she'd be like, she'd start low and then go high, her octave. She'd go, Mark! And you'd be like, oh my God, did I leave the search history on in the family computer and the desktop? Something like that. I'm too old for that. You're too old for that? You knew how to clear the history? Yeah. Or that was before web browsers. Yeah. Well, that's something that I would be worried about if my mom said, Mark! Even though my name is Ted. Anyway. <laughs> so I remember this one particular time, my mom just like shouted from upstairs. She goes, Ted! I was like, oh my God, what did I do? So I walk upstairs, she points me to under the stove. She goes, I need you to take this mouse and bring it outside. I was like, mom, there's no shot. I am taking that mouse and bringing it outside. I don't care. She goes, all right, what if I give you 10 bucks? I was like, mom, I'm a counselor at a summer camp, all right? I don't need your 10 bucks, all right? Tips are coming in soon, we didn't get a few hundred bucks, I don't need it. She goes, all right, fine. What if I give you 20 bucks? I said, all right, one second. <laughs> so I go in the other room, I call my girlfriend at the time, and I go, what's up, Caroline? You wanna make 10 bucks? She's like, yeah, sure, of course. Caroline comes over, she takes the mouse, she brings it outside, and we both made 10 bucks.